We just need to borrow a few minutes. Because Do you want some musical accompaniment for no, this upcoming no, rant? Because you're about to go off. No, this is not going to be the watershed moment that you think it is. Can you it's please, can you do me Stop. a favor? Can you build it up? Can you deliver for the audience one time? Can you just get mad? Can you just lose can, control? Can you deliver for the audience one time? Did you just say that to me? I'm, I'm trying Did to, you just say that to me? Trying to get you angry. Look me in the eyes. Did you just say that to me? You better be careful. Better be careful. I'm trying to ramp you up a little bit here. I don't Can need you, any ramping up today. You need to go off. You need to take these fools to <laughs> task. One by one. Attendance down. Excitement down. Winning percentage down. Casey Schmidt's batting average. Up. Up. <laughs> You need to go off, Mark Willard. You got a Willard. hit yesterday. Did you see that? You got a couple the day before. You got a hit. Now, he's the only one. Dude, he's him. All right. Yeah, he got a hit. Here comes Mark Willard, and he's pissed, and he's no. about, uh, yeah, can is, we this just this please? This. But no, because then it's a terrible intro, because then I will be like the Giants, and I will disappoint <laughs> you when I start actually talking. Here's Mark Willard. He has had it up to here, and by here... You can't see where I'm pointing, Luck. but it's like as high as he could be up to. Here he is. He's pissed. No. <laughs> All right. Here comes Mark Willard. I am pretty upset. I am pretty upset. He's hot. Well, look, He's furious. How can you be? Actually, would be my response to that. What, furious? I, I talk to all of you. You guys aren't furious. You're despondent. You're done. You're indifferent. You've given up. You've moved on. That's not furious. Furious is I want to stay here and fight. Most of you have decided, just give me Niner football. This is a waste of my time. And you know what? I think you might be right. I think you might be right. The bottom line is this. It doesn't matter who's right about baseball. It doesn't matter who can win and lose on the margins. It doesn't matter if they're just in a slump and they're going to figure it out because a couple of months ago they weren't in a slump and they were uncorking 10-game win streaks. None of it matters. The bottom line is you just said it. There are only five teams this year who have a lower attendance figure at this moment than they had last year. We are another year further away from the pandemic. We have rules changes that have made the sport more watchable. Yet the Giants... The Giants. Oh, get mad. Not the Tigers. No. Not the Rays. Speak on it. Not the Angels. Not the... Who play tiddlywinks with their players and their fans every year. And no. Well, yeah, the A's. But no, that's not even what I'm getting at. The Giants. Not the teams that you'd expect to be in the bottom five. Mm. The Giants. The San Francisco Giants are one of the teams who year over year are down in attendance. And if I'm an owner of the team, and thank God I'm not, I actually mean that because not a fan of, of this group. But if I'm an owner of this team and I'm in charge of hiring the people who are structuring it, you can sit here and sell me all you want on we know what we're doing, we know how to find a fourth-string catcher in the Mariners organization. You can sell me all you want, and I can buy it. I can believe it. I can think you're really smart because I sit here and I still do. I still think Gabe is just odd enough to be interesting, and I still think Farhan's really smart, and none of it matters because you're in the entertainment business and you have failed to connect to your audience. I can't tell you how many TV shows that I've watched where you're like, this is a really good show, but for whatever reason, whether it's time slot, whether it's it's – it's lead-in, whether it's its actors, whatever reason, it doesn't click with the audience. Do you know what the networks used to do with those shows? They cancel them. They cancel them. Because it doesn't matter if you're smart. It doesn't matter what your talent is. You're the giants. Your job is to connect with the audience. And you have failed. You failed. You don't have enough people who can hit. And the name of the game in baseball is to hit. The old adage, the old speech in the lollygaggers speech in, uh, was that Major League or whatever movie that, I don't even remember what it was. You throw the ball, you catch the ball, and you hit the ball. Well, they don't hit the ball. And sometimes they don't catch the ball. 
So whether the odds are in their favor, whether they overachieve, spoiler alert, they do, the bottom line is they don't hit the baseball. And that's what we're all there to see. So if you fall down one to nothing in the second inning like they did yesterday, it's and, over. And as a fan, your response is, let's go eat cake. This game's over. You have a problem. So building from the farm, I get it. Trying to get big name free agents, just barely missed. Ballpark's too big, not our fault. Whatever your reason is, ah. The defense rests because it's got nothing left to say. You have not connected with your audience, and that's what you're doing here. And there's nothing I or anybody else can do to save you on that one. You're saying that no runs on two hits and one error is not entertaining? Hey, game was done in under two hours. I don't know what the game, problem game is. Game was done in under 12 minutes. Yeah, it was done in the second when uh, when the Cubs got a home run. I believe it was, uh, was it Gomes? Se- Seiya Suzuki. Oh, Seiya Suzuki. Famously, who did not want to come here yeah, because as a free agent. Of, yeah, shout out London Breed and yep. uh, the condition in the city. He was the one who said it was too much uh, too much filth and crime in San Francisco. But I don't, I don't, I don't want any of this to be true. I, I, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I still think Farhan's smart, and Gabe is oddly entertaining. Whatever. That's my opinion on that. It doesn't he matter. He had a tough weekend, Yeah, Gabe but it, does, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. They're smart when they win 10 in a row. They're stupid when they don't. None of it matters. They've got to find a way to connect with the audience. And you want to know something that triggered me over the weekend? You see that Cody Bellinger report? Yeah. Oh, they're coming aggressive after Cody Bellinger. Did you read the fine print? This team is going to be a favorite to pivot to Bellinger if they don't get Shohei. Stop pivoting. Go get them both. I don't want to hear it. That's hilarious. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear no, financial you're, constraints. You're not wrong, but the idea that they're going to get one of the two, let alone both, yeah, to me that's, is, that's, is comedy. But that, uh, and you it's can, comedy. That, great. And, yeah. and you're probably right. And that's not even my point. Right. My point is <laughs> the mindset. Stop with the stupid mindset, Mission Rock. You got to stop. You have to stop. This is where, like, if this were a BOSA negotiation, I would fault the team. Because it's like you have to start throwing around some stupid money. Right. You already Farhan, have both. Farhan is too smart for his own good. Right. You can be right 80% of the time, all the contracts that you didn't sign. I don't have the answers. It's not my job. We right. we have a show, and our, our, our ratings this year have been really good. So that has, for whatever reason, maybe it's just because Draymond punched Jordan, but we connected with our audience. We go out to the summit. We're connecting with our audience. The Giants you got to go get your audience. They all hate you. <clears throat> and I'm tired of being over here standing up by myself. Yeah, there you go. There's the anger. Now you rip somebody. Who you want to rip? No, nah, just fix Farhan, it. Farhan, too smart for his own good. Fix it. And what you said about Kapler is curious because he is oddly entertaining. Doesn't mean he's a good skipper. And he had a bad weekend in yeah, terms of but you, you know let what? Harrison... Stay on the hook too long. But that stuff, you let Cobb that, stay out there too long. You, and Logan want, Webb, if he doesn't hate his team by now, he probably should. Yeah, but that's not Gabe. That's the hitters. Like I'm not now, Harrison was Gabe. But well, but but you know what? That stuff, that stuff that we do on the day in and day out basis. You stuck with this guy too long. You didn't go to that guy. Has anybody followed what Bochi has done in Texas this year? It's literally the worst bullpen in baseball. They are the reason that team has tanked and careened out of control out of first place, and every single <clears throat> gut move that he's made has not worked. So what's anybody's answer to that? That stuff is super quirky, and I think it ends up on a manager's, all of them. It ends up on their lap way too often. You're a pitcher in the major leagues, go get outs. When you're called upon, Alex Wood, shut up and go pitch. Go pitch. Stop. Oh, Gabe, wrong, this wrong. Go get the other team out. That's your job, and you're highly paid to do it. All the ripping on Farhan and Gabe, quite frankly, is giving too many of the players a pass. But the, the, the stuff on Farhan and Gabe is way more big picture, not small. Right. Not you made the wrong move in the eighth inning. 
The but bottom- the small picture is you have a roster full of guys who aren't good enough. And that's the big picture. Right. And that's where it goes down to Farhan Zaidi because he will rule five you and back end you into submission. And Gabe can only do with whatever he has on his team. And you look at, at the team right now and you're two games above 500. And that feels about right with the collection of talent that you have. Yeah. That's, I mean, listen, to and me. And the thing that you let off with, I think, is the most damning of all, which is. You've lost your audience. Even when you were hot in June and July and you were the, the best thing in baseball, you were the hottest thing in baseball, you still didn't captivate your audience, which is why attendance is down. Here, here's what I would I would leave Larry Bear and anyone else with this. Um, I have, at times in my career, been close to the organization. I have, throughout my whole life, from an emotional standpoint, been locked in on the organization. I have been in that building when conversations have taken place over the last handful of years where people are wondering about the audience. And you'll hear COVID, and people aren't in the city anymore, and, well, then the, okay, but the, the parking situation, and you guys, Giants, you have come up with all of these reasons why it hasn't clicked with the audience. It's time to get to the actual reason. You. The rest of that is such an excuse. It is such an excuse. COVID and the economy. Look around baseball. Because I, 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 I live here, so I'm not 100% sure, but I was under the impression that COVID went other places too. And everybody's attendance is up except for yours. So it's not COVID. It's not this city that I still think is beautiful. It's not anything. Even your chowder bread bowl prices. Okay? There are people here who have money. It's you. It is you. You have got to find a way to be more like these other teams who waltz into this building if I were a Braves fan, I'd buy season tickets. Are you kidding me? Yeah, exciting. That is so exciting. The lineup never stops. Now, I'm not going to hold that as your bar. You don't have to be the best team in baseball. I get that. No, but have but, have somebody who is exciting. Because right now, who's your most exciting player? It's probably a pitcher. Kyle Harrison. Right. And, and, he's, he, and he's had three appearances in the big sure, leagues. Sure, three appearances. Logan Webb is probably your best player. And he's not necessarily the most exciting player, but as far as position players and day-to-day guys, you've got nobody. You've got a shortstop who Casey Schmidt is exciting, but he can't hit. you got a great catcher who can throw people out, but he's up and down. You've got an outfield without power. You've got a first baseman who has a great nickname, but he's had a down year. And you've got Wilmer Flores, who has been spectacular. Right. He's been unbelievable, right? But you need to have three or four or five of those guys to have a real good hitting team. Yeah, it's just look. I, 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 you can sit here and micro this whole conversation, and I get it. You can sit here and go, well, here's what we were thinking there. Sure. And here's what we sure. were thinking there. Here's why this made sense at the time. Here's why that made sense at the time. Even everybody making fun of them for AJ Pollock, who, by the way, had six at bats and they gave up nothing. So who cares? You can rip them for it's that. It's the optics of Fine. it. That was your big trade deadline move. No, there was no trade deadline move. Right, but that was the only move you made. Correct. So you can make fun of them for it, but it was costless. Yeah. So all of that stuff, individually, you know, go to the bigger stuff. Aaron Judge, why'd they not get him? Well, because Aaron didn't want to come. Sure. So you can explain away all of this stuff. Correo, the last time I was feeling like this, they were right. As it turned out, or lucky, I don't know which. Let's talk about Conforto and Hanniger. But, but the bottom line is, in a results-driven business, you have to take the view from 10,000 feet, and you are not connecting with your audience, and it's not for any of these fluffy outside reasons. It's you. It is you. It is that your team is not good enough, not exciting enough, right. not interesting enough. It is that. And it is your job to find a way to change that. It's an entertainment entity at the very end of everything. And if you have exciting players and you're 70 and 68, well, at least you've got exciting players. If you're losing games 12 to 11 
and you're having fun and you've got personalities. You're feeling better as a fan than watching this. And yesterday was a microcosm. No runs on two hits and one error. And it felt like of those two hits, when those hits happened, it felt like you were watching your own 11-year-old get his first hit in Little League. It was like, yeah! I mean... They got a hit, Mark. Seriously. They, got, they got a hit. When, Sh- when Schmidt hit that ball in the right field, which wasn't even hit that well. Good little piece of hitting, though. I a mean, little inside yeah. out. I don't like watching games with sarcasm. I don't like turning to my <laughs> nine-year-old and high-fiving him and going, we got a hit! We got a hit! In the second inning! Woo! It's <laughs> a man at first with two outs! I mean, you could look at Steele yesterday, and I'm like, this is a shutout. I could see it within three batters. He was shoving. No, he wasn't. He was <laughs> facing the Giants. <laughs> He's filthy. How many guys this year for the other team have you watched? And they're like, wow, that's his career high in strikeouts. And you MLB Network people, you buy it. You're like, boy, he was dealing. No, he wasn't. He dealing. was facing the Giants. He had it. He had all his pitches, Mark. Since June 26, 200 runs, and the A's have 230. That hurts. It's so embarrassing. When they load the bases with no out, and I'm like, I'm going to go take a shower. It's a zero. How are they going to not score this time? You know? it's Because they've done it in I, so many different ways. I don't even know if it's that. I know how they're not going to do it. They're going to strike out. All three of them. There's usually a pop out Somebody in there. might pop out. Yeah. Somebody might pop out. Maybe. Somebody, Usually it's strikeout, pop out, strikeout. Somebody might fist a liner to the first baseman. Shout out, Doug. Whoops. Yeah, it's super frustrating. It's super frustrating. I get it on an individual basis. These players are not this bad. They're not. They're not this bad of hitters. We've watched it for years now. They are now. So just like Dave Fleming said this morning, it's a head scratcher, and I don't get it either. But it is what it is. And you have not connected with your audience and that's not okay. Yeah, your off-season acquisitions have been non-factors. And, you know, Conforto has been hurt. Hanniger was hurt. And then he's come back, and he's done nothing. And you're, you, know, you, you hung your hat on the youngsters. Oh, when the young players come up, we'll get a look at them. And Patrick Bailey has popped, and he has stuck and stayed. Kyle Harrison looks good, but he's got a ways to go before you would look at him as a top-of-the-staff arm and the rest of the guys, they've yo-yoed. And they've yo-yoed either because they haven't been ready or because this is what Farhan does when he's got players with options. He likes to move you up and move you down based on what they need in the moment. We left here last week and we're like, Tristan Beck is kind of like their fourth starter now. He's in Sacramento. Right. So, uh, yeah. Listen, here's where, here's where I'll leave you, though. I'll leave you, I'll leave you with this with regard to the Giants. And it's that I say all of that. And no, I'm not giving up on the year. Why would you do that? They're a game out of the wild card. Yeah, I feel like people make you declare as if your frustration means, like, uh, they're done. They're not done. They're a game out of the playoffs. They could be in the playoffs tonight. So, like, no, you don't have to kiss off the rest of the season. I look at it from that lens. This For the moment, this is actually not even about baseball. It's about entertainment. This is about an audience that is disconnected from your content. And if that's the case, you better do something. You better do something big. And I wonder if this regime has the ability I don't know. or the green light to, to do you. something big. Because if management is not, or if ownership is not giving management the green light that they need to make the changes that need to be made, well, then Farhan's just going to do what he always does, which is shuffle 4A players up and down and find Rule 5 guys and find cast-offs from other organizations. And he'll put together a competitive team, but it's a competitive team of mostly faceless guys and pre-arb guys and free agents that no one else really would want. I don't think there was a bidding war for Conforto or Hanniger. And, you know, you were able to get them and pay them, and neither one of them's panned out, and you're stuck with a team that is neither good nor exciting.